NHL panel is here. DraftKings contributor Jeff Ulrich and oh. RotoWire's Paul Bruno breaking down tonight's five game NHL slate, AKA NHL opening face off. So let's find out. Jeff, who are you going to be paying up for in DFS tonight? Yeah, it's Nathan McKinnon. Uh, you know, we, we have the Oilers top centers on the slate as well, but it, it, it's just such a difference in matchup between the Detroit Red Wings and the Tampa Bay Lightning. I mean, Detroit is, is bottom 10 in terms of like scoring chances allowed, penalty kill. And I mean, you know, Mc, McDavid is $700 more expensive than McKinnon. He really hasn't been playing better than McKinnon to warrant that at all. Uh, Nate the Great coming off, uh, you know, two goals in his last two games as well. The shot volume is always better with McKinnon for the most part over McDavid. So this one is pretty straightforward. You pay up for Nathan McKinnon tonight because the Avalanche, uh, just as an offense and as a team too, I think they're going to be in a bit of a foul mood after getting slammed on President's Day by the Boston Bruins 5-1. to one, And now they get a Detroit team who they put up seven goals against a couple months ago. I think you're probably going to see another big goal total. I, I, I would start with McKinnon today. All right, Paul, who are you laying down the cash for? I'm kind of with Jeff here, but I'm going to fade McKinnon and take both his wingers. I'd like to try and get as much of the Colorado top line as I can in there. And the fact is, you'll save money by going to Ranton and costing 7200 and Landis Cog at 6200 They're both playing at a better than point per game pace all year. And I agree with what Jeff said. They'll be smarting from getting that spanking in Boston. And they'll take it out on a Detroit team that's woefully uh, underprepared and uh, Got a long injury list too. Kyle Connor's another guy that I'm looking at in a, a, a game at Dallas. This is a rematch of a game that happened a week ago. It was a high scoring, high event game. And I look for a similar thing. And that's just uh, Kyle Connor's cup of tea. He's got 11 points and 41 shots on goal in his last 10 games. I say both numbers go up tonight. And then finally, if you don't like the stack in Colorado, how about Tampa and Edmonton? They, the Oilers are going to be fielding the two guys that cost more, but I think I'd rather go with Point and Stamkos in a stack too, considering they're $6,800 and $6,200 respectively. The star power is equal, maybe in, even in Tampa's favor when you consider the depth that they have there. So, And I also worry about the Edmonton goaltending, so I, I think I lean in Tampa's stars tonight there.